Special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons. Sam Medina, Matthew, Lucky Charms, Rick Kim Ray, Charlene Kelly, I am Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Button 264, Justin Rice, MDS 84 ZA, The Hal Razor, Conan 76, Belalco, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Crabians, Real, Fetus, Ramsey, Nathan V, and Audiogasms for your amazing support. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wild West Mod. Man, before I started the stream just now, I swallowed weird, and now it feels like I can't talk properly. <laughs> Okay, so um, it seems you can actually put this mod on the horse. So I wonder how bright that's going to be. But we're going to leave that here for now because we want to make sure that the horse doesn't die. Only has like 20% HP left. And yeah, we need we need apples. So I'm going to go to that one POI that we saw. Hopefully we're going to get lucky. And then also, when I, I added these last episode, I forgot, or like the episode before last episode, um, I combined all of the mods from here on this one. Now we can put the bandolier over here and we should be able to reload our weapons a little bit faster. Also, where do I put the repair kits? I think with the weapons. Repair, repair, repair. Okay, I want to repair these quickly. They don't really, uh, a lot of them don't need repairs right now. But I mean, if they're, if they're repaired, they're repaired. Then we don't have to worry. And then we're going to take our bike with us. I could probably just drive there with a the horse. It's a, little, it's a little bit faster. We're going to drive with a horse. And then as soon as we get there, because basically, guys, we're going to go over there now. As soon as we get there, we pick the horse up, and only when we need space to be used it again. Oh, it just lost HP on me as well, I think. I'm kind of curious to see the all-flight um, uh, lamp mod, how bright that's going to be. But I think it's only at night that you'll really uh, be able to see. If I click the, the light right now, it sets the torch on the side um, a light and stuff. But I also put the, uh, the off-road headlamps on, and it's not working at the moment. On a vehicle, it makes the whole area around you super, super bright. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is pick this up. I'm just going to go and clear this place as fast as possible. And I'm hoping by picking it up, it, does, it allows the thing to not lose any more food. But like I said, it does look like a lost food when I picked it up by the base. Oh, now the gardener is using a, uh, a, a leaf blower, so I'll have to stop recording for now until he's done. That leaf blower, just like a vacuum, picks up in the back uh, background. I think I'm not going to go even for the resource right now. We're going to clear out this place. Loot the final stashes. Horse, stay away from me. That scared the crap out of me. Something's chasing it. Yep, zombie. Okay, but yeah, we're just going to do this quickly. Um, get out all the zombies, grab all the loot, and then we should be fine from there. Uh, yeah, I am just going to have to pause because this dude is right outside my window. Okay, hopefully he's far enough away with the leaf blower that he doesn't pick up on the mic because I need to keep recording. Guys, I'm recording all five of these episodes for the week before I even start my Alpha 20 playthrough, or 21 playthrough. So I still have to load up Alpha 21, install it and everything. Hello. I still have to go and install it and everything, and um, yeah, time is running out, so I need to get these recordings done. I'm going to have to do Rebirth in between as well. Uh, rebirth I'll do like on Saturday or Sunday uh, recording, but this is still Friday right now, and yeah, Alpha 21 is still going to come out. Uh, I'm going to loot everything on the way out. Let's just first clear out all the zombies. Any more dogs? I can't believe- Oh, I was about to say, I can't believe there's only two dogs. Come on. Is it me or do these dogs look huge for some reason? Why am I missing the shot? Is he behind- the, Yeah, he's behind the container. Come on, straight, 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 straight. Here you go. You be careful, there might be another dog out here. I think a small thing like this, I can loot now. Why leave it behind when we can grab it now? Okay, uh, it doesn't look like there's any other dogs back here. But you need to be careful though, because they are so dark. You don't see them until it's super, super late. Okay, this leads where? Just to another inner courtyard. Okay, cool. This place is massive, actually. Since it is so huge. Oh, uh, the outside's not really that big. I should probably go and... Um, well, the, the outside's big. There's not so much in the backyard, so we can just probably quickly go and loot this stuff. And we have it, we don't have to worry about coming back here again. I do also have to finish uh, working on the class quests and stuff, uh, all the storyline quests. But for now, we're going to focus on this. It seems... Can you go from this PI to that one to that one, or are you supposed to go the other way around? I'm guessing this house is on its own over here. I'm actually hoping for... Oh, that's broken. I'm hoping for a radiated feral. But you still have to kill one for that one quest. I don't know if it's supposed to be a special one, or if you can actually just kill any radiated feral. 
I'm hoping it's any because that's going to be way easier getting stuff done. Now close that down. All these panels are super, super weak over here, so the zombies can easily get in. Okay, so it seems you're supposed to come in here. You can't get into that house from over here, so you're supposed to go through here then. Just please, no wandering hordes and stuff while I'm clearing this place. The less zombies we have to deal with with the axe, the better. Because the axe does take a while to kill them. You're just in case we want to make sure we shoot them, it's faster. I did say that I want to clear the place out and then loot it. But I mean, if we can loot it now anyways. We don't have a quest to do, so we don't have to worry about anything right now. And I'm hoping I actually get an apple from this, because we really need to feed our horse. And if you're eye this big, if we don't get an apple, then you know there's something really tough about getting apples in this game. Okay, not bad, y'all, not bad. Yeah, that stag or deer or whatever that is getting hits over there, that's unlocked. We could go guns blazing with a shotgun, but I feel like that would be a waste. And it will also be too loud, it's going to definitely call a screamer. Crap, man. Oh, this POI. They're, they're using POIs that we all know and love, that we've seen over the years, and they're combining it into uh, POIs like this. Because I know this one, this is usually out in the, uh, the country roads and stuff in the normal vanilla. But the fact that they've added this one with another POI to make a special POI, that's awesome. Uh, that's empty. You can go upstairs with a staircase on the side, but for now, let's just quickly make sure we do this. This place is full of This is definitely a tier 5. There's no way this is a tier 4. There's way too many zombies for- Oh, it might be a tier 4, because tier 3s also have a lot. But this makes sense that it would be a tier 5 because of the she sheer size of this place. I can just get lucky and find a bloody apple. We're also getting more sham sandwiches with Orchim because you can make a sham raid thingy that we did. That pulls it up quite nicely as well. Okay, make sure there's nothing hidden. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Probably just also scrap stuff that I'm never going to use or never going to need. It's going to be easier, scrap oh, easier scrapping those things. And keeping it on us right now, and then we don't have enough space. I only want to go put the horse down if I really need the space. Oh, you're stuck. Every time I get close, you go down all fours. It's always so weird when you see the zombies um, hanging in the air like that. Um, all the NPCs in Darkest Falls, for example, that look like they're swimming. Oops. They keep attacking me before I hit them. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go in over here. Oh, I only have 23 bolts left. I need to remember that. Come on. Especially when I miss easy shots. It looks like it's going for the head and then miss the zombie. Okay, as long as you guys are not feral, I think an axe can also be a nice and fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I could easily swap towards my fire, uh, fire axe and then hit, hit with that. Oh, yeah, this one locked. I just hit him like three, four times with one swing. Um, break an arm or a leg or anything right now, please. This is already above where we, where we were uh, earlier. I think it might actually also be behind that uh, painting over there something. And you can hide from zombies by standing over there because they can't walk on these. They try, but they fall down. Okay, let's just make some space. We're gonna sell that, sell that, sell that. Food we can eat, we can also drink some stuff over here. It's nice that we actually need food and drink at the moment. And then also we need to go and see if we can't scrap chairs when we pick them up. Seems the crafting queue is full at the moment, uh, or the scrapping queue, so we have, we'll have to wait a bit. 
It's getting later and later and later, and I'm just hoping that the final stash isn't too tough. Because this place is huge, so it's quite easy to accidentally get lost. And also, it's quite easy for there to be like a massive final amount of zombies. So you can actually get through over there, I think, and then also over here. But this is the correct way to path. You need to be careful that we don't fall down. I think this floor might cave in or something. Okay, if I can do this right... Without having any zombies wake up... The amount of pure eyes that they combined, and the different types, I mean. But this is an army building over here. They combined like outback buildings with uh, army buildings. It's just it overall looks amazing. But this is definitely an army barracks. You be careful of the spider. If only you didn't wake up and just waited for me a little bit, man. Come on. Is that too much to ask? Okay, see if I use this one. It's way faster, two shots. But the swinging is so, so much slower that I feel like it might still be faster using the other axe. Where are they breaking through from? Hello. Yeah, if you can break that for me, I'll be able to kill you quickly. As long as you don't stand on it and try and uh, break something else. Come on. Is that not loot? Yeah, that's not lootable. I want to make sure they don't accidentally destroy a block that I can still go and loot later. I almost tried to do a power attack just now. I need to remember if I do that, I'll accidentally go and repair stuff. I want to make a better axe. Uh, I should probably see if I can't go into minus 69 a bit more. If I can make myself a nice blue or purple axe, we'll be able to put way more mods on here as well. At the moment, I have the bleeding mod and the ergonomic grip because that's just how we need it right now. But I could later go and do even more, even better. Okay, so we're supposed to go through here. We're supposed to go through here. They were breaking in from over here. I'm getting medicine and stuff like that, but I'm not getting a single apple. Now guys, remember, I'm recording all of these episodes in one go, so... The first episode, someone might have been able to tell me, Hey, uh, go for this, you'll get an apple there. But... I am... Yeah, I haven't read that comment yet. It's only in the next week's episodes that I adjust and uh, fix what I did I do wrong. Okay, there might be dogs over here. This is where we came from from that side. Probably be careful just in case there are dogs. And then with this bolt, I should stop going for headshots because the headshots sometimes go through. Go for like shoulder sh uh, checks. It seems the shoulder ones do still kill the zombies one go. And we have to make sure they actually go down after one shot. Come on, construction. Ooh, okay, see, I'm gonna have to put my uh, horsey down now. And depending on how much HP it has, this might be a really bad idea. Let's see. I climb on you, 18. Okay, that's good. It didn't go down then. Nice. Food and drink, we just came from there. We have to go this way. And I, feel, I feel like I'm definitely getting sick. I have to continuously just clear my throat and stuff. And it feels like uh, while I'm busy talking, all of a sudden my whole voice just goes away. Oh, it's a lumber camp and everything. And, oh, this place is way bigger than I thought. I still have to go and clear the lumber camp now. Damn. This is definitely worth like a whole episode just clearing this. Just because it's so big. So it's a lumber camp. And a, um, a military barracks and whatever that building. No, this, this is part of the lumber camp. Oh, wait, this is just a lumber camp. Now think about it, because usually you come in from over here. There's this thing over here, the final loot's up there. But that building over there is new, it's attached to each other. But yeah, this is definitely just a normal lumber camp. How did I not realize this sooner? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's. We should probably do it the right way around. Which means we have to go through over here. I wonder if I shouldn't just really grab the resources as well. I mean, we are here, right? Nope, 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 nope. Swap, swap, swap. Thank you. I need to see if I can't find myself a steel pick somewhere, because then we'll be able to break resources way easier. Uh, we can drink coffee for some water, although the water is full. 
Yeah, all of a sudden it feels like we're doing way better than what we did before. Obviously now we have the horse as well for some storage. Except for the fact that we can't find apples. Um, the overall tool level, being able to do more than usual. Um, not running out of food and water. Everything's starting to fall into place. Yeah, usually you come through, there's a vehicle over here you come through. You be careful of possible dogs inside of here and then also zombies from upstairs. It makes sense that this place actually has lumberjacks because, I mean, they're cutting wood. A lumberjack. I need to be careful of possible landmines as well. I don't think landmines were a thing of here, right? I think you're a feral. Look at his eyes. I'm hitting him just enough so he doesn't do actually any damage to me. Yep, the amount of shots that I have to give him just now, guys. That was a feral. Okay, we can scrap that for wood. Open you up. I noticed, I wonder if there are such things as landmines in this time period. Nice. That's some really great loot just now. Damn. She has no sleepers over here somewhere hidden. Um, what does this do? Where does this lead? Is this not the final room? If I open up this switch right now, where's it gonna take me? Outside. That's not where I want to be. Hello, hello, hello. I don't wanna be outside. So what was that sound just now? I think it might be a wandering ward outside. Yep, that's a wandering horde. See, this isn't a quest, so I'm, I can afford to go away from it. So let's just quickly do this. They're all hitting to... Oh, that looks weird. They're all just part from out of nowhere over here. Now we can do this. We get their attention. And keep their attention as well. We can just shoot one or two of them. Oh, did I drop the Molotovs? No, you. I was about to say, damn, I don't have any Molotovs on me. Some zombies are just so much faster than their friends that it really hurts, or it, it's really hard. Trying to put them all into one circle of here, one bundle. Nice, all of you on fire? Except the one dude at the back. Oh, he walked into the fire just now, nice. Let's really get some free XP of here. Fire, come on, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. I don't think I'm really damage me right now as a bison horde. The dogs, oh, 250 infected kills, nice. None of them dropped a single bag. Can you believe it? Quest line complete. We just killed 250 zombies. Okay, um, should probably heal myself as well. Get inside before it gets too dangerous. Already doing this place at night is a little bit tough because it's gonna be vultures and stuff. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, there might be a dog in the premises as well. Especially since this mod changed a few things. Yep, on the... Hello? Oh, hello. One over there, one over here. Are you gonna come for me when I'm not looking? If I could just hit them all in the air as well, but I missed that shot. Because that's gonna do some bonus damage to them. Okay, these guys are feral. The reason I say that is I have to do way more shots to kill them. Okay, usually I don't path this way, we path this way. The fact that the lumber is separated like this is really bothering you because that's not how it usually is. There's definitely going to be a zombie or two on that side now as well. Come on. Open up, open up. Construction, construct. I think all of these are construction. Come on, give me some good loot. Yeah, I mean, it's not great. It's not, it's not bad, but it's not great. It seems some of these dudes, yeah, they came for me just now because that was open. They were not supposed to see me. They were supposed to see me only when I go for this over here. Usually you actually climb in through that hole over there, but that's blocked up. So now they force you to do it in reverse, it seems. Which means there might be vultures up here, which means I have to be careful. There's definitely going to be vultures up here. Yeah, the whole part thing of this place has been changed. It's awesome. Usually you climb through uh, through this thing underneath us, and then you go inside and you go down. But now this time around, it seems like it's in reverse. Any vultures? And there's usually vultures over here, so the fact that there aren't... 
I actually really love the design. I mean, everything's wood, and obviously it's like the the Wild West times. But yeah, this whole design actually so makes so much sense. You be careful because zombies can hit you through blocks. There's a bear downstairs. Please, don't, please tell me there's no way for it to get up here with me. Now, please don't tell me it's gonna attack my my horse. I'm hoping the horse only counts as like a vehicle, and for that reason, the the um, bear doesn't go for it. He's See, it's on the side where my horse is, so it might end up killing my horse right now. Um, need to do this quickly. It seems it is on the outside at least. But as soon as it breaks in, it's gonna- Ooh, I need to be careful. There might be a staircase behind me. So if that bear actually manages to get in over here and there's a staircase behind me, it's gonna hit me. That choir just now scared the crap out of me. Nice, 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 nice. We have to go drop some stuff on the vehicle. Uh, it seems we can go through this door over here. If I could scrap some stuff on me and eat some stuff and just make some space this way, the less we have to go back and forth between us and the horse, the better right now. At least if the bear comes for us right now, we'll be able to kill it uh, through the door with fire. It seems like this room is actually detached from everything else. But we still have to go clear out the bottom. This whole place was rearranged. This was the, this was the final stash room. I mean, there is a hot and chest, but all over the place is actually some really pretty good loot. Imagine the bear can actually climb ladders. And just before I know it, I just see like a bear flying in over here. Ooh, that would scare the crap out of me. Okay, so there's kerosene barrels, uh, barrels over here. Technically, we need to start making ourselves that steam-powered um, vehicle. It's a steam horse. Uh, if we can do that, we'll have a vehicle that drives around, but it's going to be a little bit expensive on fuel. At least we should, by now, we have so much fuel, it shouldn't be an issue. But you don't want to take that chance. There's loot over there as well. We have to go downstairs and back up again. Seems like we now have to go downstairs and do this, but where's the bloody bear? Oh, it's over there. Hello, hello to your face. I'm gonna wake up so many zombies right now. You might actually be able to destroy that underneath me. Be, careful. be very, very careful, John. Ooh, almost ran out of stamina when I just jumped. Hey, where the hell is he? I didn't kill him just now, he just turned around. How the spider just get up here? I think if he got up here that way, the bear might also do the same. I want to jump down there so badly, but I don't see the bear. I might have ended up killing him. Let's just grab the ladder over here. See, I don't see the bear. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me, because now if I get too close, I might go for my horse over here. Okay, eat that. Dump all of this. Oh, nice. That was a lot of stuff just done. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, um, yeah, we have to go inside the buildings over here. But it's kind of tough. You don't know where the bloody bear is. Oh, 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 it's still... Huh? It's just standing there. Where were you earlier, dude? Where the hell are you going? I want to go inside the POI. But I can't afford to go in there if I have to constantly worry about a, a bear. So it's definitely trying to get inside this building from a different point of view, so I need to be so careful right now. We were up there, we need to go down here. No, we were up here. We have to go into this one over here. But how? How do I get in there without destroying myself? I just break through this over here. That's concrete. Concrete, concrete. 
It must be- you must be able to do it somehow because I haven't been inside that room yet. A hole over there. See, if the bear's inside now, it's gonna come up this ladder over here and destroy me. What I should try and do at least is this. Because it slows them down. They, they can still break through the, uh, the, the stuff easy. But this way you can actually make sure they don't get to you too easy. Like you have a little bit of a second or two to respond and just run. This so far, guys, this has been a really awesome POI. I mean, it takes a while, obviously, to clear this whole place because it's big. It takes a whole episode just to clear this one POI. And that's... Uh, if you count this... Um, uh, the ship over here, that's like two or three episodes. Okay, let's just reload this. See, that was a headshot just now. You have to go for like the chest or something, otherwise it doesn't count for some reason. I think there's a dog on that side over there. I'm gonna be so careful right now, not to make any noise. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know sometimes I can get really quiet. Um, it almost sounds like the, all the sound in the game is just gone and I'm gone. It's just that I'm focusing so much on not dying. And sometimes I don't even realize I'm not talking anymore. It's almost like you have to remind yourself to breathe just because of the stress. Okay, so we can go that side for more resources, but where's that dog? There's a zombie sleeping right there. The zombie sleeping right there. At least we're far enough through this place that if there is a dog, if I'm right about this, I can just run. Also, I can just run on top of here. Although that, that might have costed me just now. Because I just realized there's also this kind of walkway that he's standing on on this side. A bench. So if there was a dog, this dog would have actually been able to get my ass just now. Make sure all the doors are closed. That bear might have actually been able to break through here somewhere, so you have to be careful. You never know where you got through. At least that's blocked off. Like I said, this is where we usually climb through, and then we go through the side, up, down, and through, and everything. But with this POI, it's been changed so much. It's, it's, I really love the change. It's amazing when uh, mod creators go and they um, change POIs to fit the, their style. I'm a massive fan of this kind of style. Nothing in the roof, nothing in the air. Okay, so... Huh? I've been so mad if I all of a sudden fell into, like, spikes or something. <laughs> Giving compliments, giving compliments, Ugh, dying. Okay, so we are full. We need to get out of here before the bear sees us. Oh, what is that side? There's no hole over here, so we should be fine. It bothers me that we haven't, uh, still haven't found that it was apples yet. And now the bear is going to be this side. I need you open that gate over there and drive away. See, the bear is right there. I think I should be able to easily go and kill it. All I have to do is run over to it uh, with a shotgun and then shoot it in the face. What if I shouldn't try and do it? Let's see what happens if I go over here. I mean, it's free meat, but we don't need the meat right now. Locked. That's locked. Might just have to kill the bear to get out of here. But this isn't locked, right? Locked, 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 locked. Okay, cool. So, to get out of here, I have to kill the bear. I might be able... No, there's no exit over here as well. I can actually chop through the wood over here and just drive out. 
You see, this block is already missing over here, right? All I have to do is go and destroy this one. It's easy enough. And I need to see if I can fit the, the uh, horse through here before the bear actually sees me. It's still running, kind of, so I think it's trying to attack me. Horse only has 4% HP left. That's not good. I think that bear is coming closer now as well. Oopsie. You know what? Yeah. 4% left. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're going to go. Uh, we have to go backwards. Back, 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 back. Okay, now we just have to go back to the base and drop everything off. HP is super low. 3%. I'm hoping the horse doesn't die, like when it gets to zero. Because literally guys, we've been looting everything, anything and everything. And we've only had a total of three apples ever. I've fed him two, and that's about it. So I should actually see if I can't start a farm with apples, because we, we need so many. I'm hoping when it gets to zero, he doesn't die and he just stops working. Because I really want, I wanted this horse for such a long time, and now this happens. There should be another way to get a horse if this one does die. But I'm just hoping it doesn't die. Okay, I'm going to go back to the base and drop everything off. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comment, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time as we hopefully find some apples to heal our horsey over here. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.